Okay, so tonight we're going to take a quick look at this crossbow scope. Um, right off the bat, I'll just say that the scope itself, uh, it's pretty cool. I like the design. It's uh, kind of a lightweight scope. And we'll go into more detail right now. But we'll just go over to what it comes with, which it does come with a, with a manual. And um, just uh, the manual does have, uh, you know, kind of all the labels, all the parts and stuff. This is what the uh, rectangle looks like. And I did get a picture of it, and I'll put a picture in the review but um sorry about the glare there what lights up in the rectangle is just that center point right there and it lights up to a, a bold green and then lighter shades or bold red and then lighter shades but that's that's what highlights is what light what illuminates is right there in the middle there that dot with the the crosshair area that's all what illuminates but it's it's pretty clear it's a nice bold look um it comes with an allen wrench a cloth for cleaning the lenses it came with a battery and there's already a battery inside so there's two batteries uh, the lens covers and it it came with the mounting rings some, some scopes already have the mounting rings um on the scope but um these mounting rings came in this little box here so you do have to put those on yourself as well came with a couple of cool stickers and um and then the scope itself so it does have um pretty good man magnification and focus it is it's a crystal clear view through the scope um, we'll try to take a quick peek. To, I, I left the illumination on in the red, but um, overall, I'd say the scope itself is of good quality. Um, it would be it's going to be cool once they get it up, uh, up and running, and 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 checking out how you know try to set it in for the accuracy. But um, so yeah, here's the uh, the control for the illumination and the lighting up the rectangle. No, a little blurry there. Um, so uh, that's the control there, and then the windage and elevation uh, uh, gauges over here. And then the focus and stuff is there. The magnification is right here towards the lens piece. So, um, but overall, I mean, it's not a heavy scope. It's lightweight. If you got a crossbow, um, you don't want any, like, I guess maybe too much additional weight to it. So this is pretty, pretty cool scope. And let me see if we can get a quick look at the rectangle. Like I said, I did leave it on in the red. So, you know, that just real quick, uh, the camera doesn't hardly ever do it justice how clear it is, but we'll take a quick peek. Oh, there we go. Let me see. So yeah, I mean, uh, kind of focused in a little bit. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, right. well, it got a couple of good little focuses on there. Um, it, to the naked eye, it's a really, really crystal clear, nice bold red or a nice bold green. So I mean, overall, I'd say this is a pretty cool scope. Um, if you're looking for one for your crossbow or, you know, whatever, um, this may be the one for you. So I hope this review is helpful and have a good one.